Hi everybody, Dizia Rosia with a makeup haul. Um, us in the UK are like slowly getting some of the American brands and Italian brands and other brands from other places. And I've been very lucky this week. I live in Cheshire in Warrington and in my local boot store they started to store the NYX on their small range. And also we got a new store open in the mall uh, of the Kiko. So I went and had an OZ and the Kiko, I got quite a few bits uh, as they had 30% and 50% off. Um, so I'll just get to it and tell you what I got and how much it was. So I got this mixing solution. I'm not going to take it, but I will take that actually. Um, just no really difference so mixing solution for the pigment uh, I thought this was a really bad good bargain hopefully it will work nice um, and that was £1.90 and then I got the um, loose pigments uh, these ones in 02, 09, 18, 19 and 20 so this is what the O2 looks like and uh, just I know that like, you've got to use the uh, mixing solution but I'll try I can't get my finger in with my nails no it's not really gonna it's like a very very pale glitter it's not gonna work very well without the thing I don't think you're not gonna see that on camera probably or not um so there's no point in me trying to swatch all of them then there's a black glitter pigment and that is it, 09. 18 is another peachy golden colour. Um, 19 is a neon orange. I know that I'm not going to use this now because it's had, like October, but somewhere before us, and for that price, I couldn't resist. And the last one is like the neon pink, and that is number 20. Um, and like I say, they were just wet each. And dry eyeshadows, um, and you can use them wet or dry, hence that's the name. Um, so we'll give this a bit of a swatch. And this one is in 67. And there it is. And then we have, I had to go a bit bonkers on blues a little bit. And we have 68, 68, and 25, and 57, this one here, 57, and the last one of these, like I say these will be more intensified if you do wet them, but this video will be way too long if I do that. And this one is in 83, I got this more for a highlighter. Yeah. A bit rubbish at this end. Um, then I got the super colour eyeliner in what number was it? One one one. And these reminded me very much of like the Urban Decay razor. Um, the packaging and everything just did the way that the the pens are and stuff um, just reminded me of the new razor from Urban Decay um, then I got some of the water eyeshadows in 220 just look at that and just look how the depth on that is just so nice Let's see if I can swatch it I'll swatch it on this arm don't even want to touch it it's so pretty look Shimmer is so nice. So that was in 222, uh, 220, sorry, 222. Just stick in the head. And then we have 226. And this is like a pearly bluey colour. This one isn't, isn't as vibrant, but you know, like it's still really nice. And I do think this will be a really nice like under the 
brow highlighter as well as um, I also got this eye, eye tech look eyeshadow this is a weird one this I've never seen anything like it it's like this is the colour this it's 105 and it's it, this is like on a, a springy goes in but the colour's actually in the lid and it's on the sponge so it's an eyeshadow um, and you just colour it in and it's such a nice colour but I just really think it's a really handy piece to take out with you because you've got your brush and your shadow in one and it's a really really nice metallic look I only picked up the one so it's just to give them a try um, I then got some lip liners I got 710 I'll swatch that for you start up here It's like a brownie red colour. And then we've got 700. This one, which is a more of a nude brown colour. It's not as intense. Then we have 701, which looks like it may be pinky. Yep, so you've got a pinky nude. And the last one is 704 and that's definitely like a brownish colour, browny orangey. Um, so I think that was it for the So the also. next bit is the NYX from Boots. Um, I first picked up these two ombre lipsticks. And they basically got as a lip duo, it's got like a liner and a lipstick, but they are two different colours to give the ombre effect. I've actually wearing this one right now, and this one is Poppy and Lily, and this one is called Rags to Riches. I only picked up the two, so just giving them a try, but I will show you what they look like. I really love the packaging of it because even on there it's like ombre. It's like it shows you like this side will be the dark side and this will be the light side. Watch me get wrong. Oh no! It's falling out. Well, that's no good. Hmm. I'll be careful with that one then, won't I? Because that's not good at all. But <laughs> I have used this, but only today. So I'm a bit disappointed with that. I didn't notice that before. Uh, so that's the liner side and then this is the other side um, I will do a bit of a swatch for you actually so there's the lipstick side I'll be careful with this now won't I and there's the liner side and like I said there's not a massive difference but it is enough to give you so this is the lipstick and then this side is the ombre the liner side. So that's the Poppy and Lily and the Rags to Riches. I've not even tried this out myself so you can see what it looks like new, nice and pointed. So we'll do a, oh, I've got some, first I've got all the makeup off but I haven't do a swatch. There, that's the liner. And we'll do the lipstick side and there you can see it looks like a crayon to begin with but Obviously I'd use the other one. So that there is quite a big difference between those two. So that's the rags to riches. So I've gone with my normal, I don't normally wear a purple or I wear a nude lipstick. So um the them ones and they was nine pound each. Then I've gone for the try the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's not something I'd normally wear but I've heard good reviews so I thought I'll give them a try. And I've got it in 30, which isn't actually, does it have an ounce? So, I think it's called. So, I'll do a swatch of that. And it's quite, um, I think it, that particular one will look to take a couple of coats because it looks quite sheer. Maybe it's just the way I'm putting it on, I don't know. And then I got the one in. 18 which is called Prague 
So we'll swatch this one for you. Oh, that, see, that one's much nicer coverage. And that's going quite well. And that's not a colour I'd normally go for, this particular one, but for some reason, I like it. <laughs> It's otherwise it's not something I'd normally go for. Um, and then I've been really wanting these prismatics. Let's just see if we can get rid of this. The prismatic um, shadows. I've heard such good reviews about them. And I have tried them on. I've got a couple on my at the moment. I've now I've got this one, uh, which is Frostbite, the number one in um on the center of my eye but i don't know if it's, even if it's there now because i've had this on since this morning and it's now 10 to 8 at night um i do love the packaging of these the little tiny bowls which i know a lot of nick stuff does have um but i just like that it's cool i love silver and blue they're my favorite colors so i'll give this a bit of a swatch for you so that's that one that one's Frostbite. The only one I couldn't actually get, and that was number nine, Fireball. Really disappointed because I've got them all now, apart from the other one. This is what I've got on my my eyes as well, which is Punk Heart, and this is number two. I just love the packaging on these. It's just so nice. So that's number two. And number three is called Liquid Gold. That's a really, like I said, a very, all oh, very metallic. -y. Um, I must admit, when I did try to do the, you can see it on my finger, um, when I tried to use a brush, it wasn't, it wasn't that good unless the brush was wet. Um, sorry, I'm not, just going off to here. So I did have to use my finger to apply it. Um, this one is number four, Girl Talk. So, I, mean, I am going to probably apply it with my finger, but sometimes you want that preciseness. So this is Girl Talk. It's a nice golden shimmer. So it's not too in your face. And um, this one, number five, I think it is. Yeah, Mermaid. Absolutely love this one. It's like This is what caught my eye from the off. Just look at that. It's just so stunning. So just at the top there. It's just so nice. It's like, it's a pity, it's not. It's like greens and golds, it's not. I want it to be summer again so I can wear it. Though, to be fair, I just wear whatever I want when I want. Then this one is number six, which is smoke and mirrors. I did actually buy this twice, I had to return it. Unfortunately, they didn't have the 09 which I wanted, and it's there. Um, that one is like a very grey brownie colour, really. It has got like a tone of brown in there. It, I don't think it looks dead like how it looks in the pot. Um, then the next one is. 07 and it's golden peach. So just watch that. Again, this is very golden shimmer. Very, very subtle one that one. Then we have 08 and this one is called blue jeans. Another one of my favourites being blue and all. Wow, that, just look at that, I think that has got to be the best one of them all, well actually it's just, I think it's, it's so strong it looks better but I still love the mermaid one, excuse me, sorry, and then the next one is 10 because I haven't got number 9 and this one's bedroom eyes, I can just get it open, this is like a coppery shade See how it turns out, and it turns out what immense. Just look at that, it's so amazing. They then, two last two, they've just really swatched really well. Um, 
like it's just literally one swipe then the next one is jaded and it's number 11 I'm giving you the numbers because when you order on the beats online it does give you numbers and not the names on sometimes so this one looks really intense and it is just look at that it's amazing and the last one that I have is Tin and this one is number 12. Right, trying to get a finger now, it's clean. Wow, that is like silver, silver. That just looks so nice. So, overall, um, I'm very impressed with these. Um, I think the packaging, again, like I say, is very pretty. Um, and I love that they all just fit in my little tray thing here. Um, I love how they apply, apart from like say with a dry brush, you're going to be there forever. Um, just try, if you're going to use a dry brush and you do not like using your finger, try maybe putting a colour underneath that looks similar to what the prismatic ones that you're doing because you are going to be there a long time unfortunately um, and then the last there is a couple of few bits I did get uh, from Superdrug they had a offer on it was buy, buy any two items get one free so I chose these I've been after trying to find a matte blue so in case you have any one why I've got so much blue really want a really pale matte blue if anyone's got any suggestions please give me a shout now these are the colour rich ombres and um, see so gives you a little diagram of where you can put all the different colours and this one is smoky velour num E5 and that's what they look like inside and there's one two these four different colours of greys and silvers these three shimmers and one matte so the black is a matte and then the rest are all shimmer I'm not going to swatch these because my hands and fingers are manky so you wouldn't get a true match anyway. And the next one is Beige Tench in E1. Oops, lost a little finger here. Good job I don't use them. And this is like a golden palette. Again, actually there is no matte in these. These are all shimmers. And to be honest, the top, this top one here and this middle one look very, very similar to be fair. They don't look much in it. Um, so... I thought that one would have been, no it's not, it, but it swatches nice, just put it on a little bit there, um, but no, they're all shims in there, so this is the main one I was wanting uh, for the matte blue that's in there, and it's a turquoise spell and it's S15, and it looks like so. And again, gives you a little look of where you can put it and what numbers to put where and stuff. So it's a nice little palette. Um, they're nice to take all the way. And these are all from L'Oreal. And there's packaging again. So that's it for my haul, guys. Um, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And please, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, also on Instagram is uh, Dizzy Nails Beauty and Beauty. Do it, dizzy nails and beauty. I think that's what it is. Um, I know on Facebook, so please connect with us and give me any hints and tips or where I'm going wrong or right. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.